see what I'm looking at? Honey Bear is out in the yard with M Menorah and the babies. They're fully integrated. Do you see that? Menorah's over there by the fence, but here she comes. This is Honey Bear with the, all the babies and Menorah. They're a family, you guys. They're finally a family. Bless you. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Karen. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Wendy. The moment, you guys, is that Honey Bear is fully integrated with Menorah and her babies. Now, he's been integrated for a, um, about a week now with the babies. But Menorah and Honey Bear, when we first introduced them, they had a big fight. Menorah was very defensive. But today we tried again with the help of our animal communicator, Joan Ranquit, who came here and did some exercises with them to release their trauma and their past and their nervousness. And then we tried again today, and now look. Look at them. Isn't this amazing? They're a family, finally. So for those just coming in on the scene, let me recap for you. In December, we rescued that pig and her babies from Washington State. We brought them home to the gentle barn so they can be together for the rest of their lives. We did not integrate them with Honey Bear, who is this beautiful, handsome guy, because we needed her to be able to nurse her babies and wean them in her own timing <clears throat> and then get them spayed and neutered. So we've been waiting this whole time. But finally, the babies got weaned, the babies um, and the mom got neutered and spayed, and then Honey Bear met the babies, and today he got fully integrated with mom. And now they are one big happy family. Good job, Menorah! Good job! Good job, Menorah! I'm so proud of her. Isn't this wonderful, you guys? Now let me just tell you something. Honey Bear has never had a family before. Uh, before coming to the gentle barn, he was kept on a pig farm where he was treated with a lot of cruelty and he was actually picked on by the other pigs. So he's never had a room of his own or a swimming pool or a barnyard with other pigs. When he came home to the gentle barn, we had Zeus, but Honey Bear and Zeus did not get along. So he actually, this whole time, has been at the gentle barn alone, coming out for turns in the yard, but never with Zeus. And then when Zeus passed away, we rescued Menorah and the babies and now Zeus gets to be with them forever. He gets to be with the babies and Menorah and he gets to have this big, rich, beautiful, beautiful family. And Menorah has never lived with a male unless the male was coming to breed with her and cause her to get pregnant and then her babies were taken away and it was this horrible, painful, vicious cycle. So she's never lived with a male, which is why she was very defensive and kind of um, had problems with him the first time she met him. But we worked on her to show her that she is safe here and that no one is going to impregnate her or rape her or disrespect her body. And she is now trying her best to live with a male in a barnyard knowing that she, he's safe. And look at that. Did you just see that, you guys? They were nose to nose. There was a little bit of tension and she chose to walk away. Good girl, Menorah! Good girl! Good girl! Harmony, family, safety, company, love. These are all the things that these animals that have gone through so much trauma can go through at the gentle barn and can have now. What, Jay? I said yet socially distanced. Well, the animals don't have to socially distance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, it's funny. Ah, oh, isn't that wonderful, you guys? I was gonna take you up um, to see Phoenix Rising, Betty, and Joy for our Tuesday tuck-in, but we were working this afternoon with Honey Bear and Menorah, and it was just too good to not share. I just, we just had to share it with you. So to recap, for those of you just joining us, Honey Bear is now fully integrated with Menorah and the babies. Just a few minutes ago, they were nose to nose. They've been walking around the yard. Honey Bear went in her room, laid in her bed, uh, drank water, they pooed and peed together. It's official. And now when it's warm, 
We can just keep their bedroom doors open. They can go in and out and they can have each other's company and they can raise the babies together. You know it's a new level of your relationship when you can poo and pee together. Um, yeah, pooing and peeing is very bonding. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't that exciting, you guys? We just had to share it with you. We're so happy for all of these animals that they get this precious, precious life. Where's the other babies? Where's all the babies? The other babies are like very patiently waiting for dinner. Let's go see them. Hi, Miracle. Hi, Gingerbread. Hi, Tinsel. There's three of them, anyway. And there's Menorah. They're just very, very patiently waiting for dinner. And I want to introduce you to Joan Ranquit, who helped make, us this po make this possible. Hi. This is Joan Ranquit, you guys. She's our animal communicator. Um, and she came and she worked with Menorah to release her trauma from the past, being with male pigs, impregnated, raped, and, and having babies that were then taken away. She got to release that trauma and trust Honey Bear. And then she worked with Honey Bear from his trauma of being bullied by other pigs before he came to the gentle barn, and he released that victim consciousness. And now they are together in the yard. And Romeo's been supervising this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Romeo. You're doing some good supervising. Oh, happy day. I'm so glad you guys could join us for this. I know many of you that, um, oh, Wendy Michael says hi to you, Joan. Oh, hi. And Helen is asking, how do you become an animal communicator? I have a, a program for people that want to become an animal communicator. There are lots of classes, and um, I also teach the EFC, the technique, emotional freedom technique that we did on both of them for each of their traumas. So what's, uh, what's the best way for people to check you out, Joan? Is it uh, like? My website, and it's J-O-A-N-R-A-N-Q-U-E-T.com. There you go. JoanRanquit.com. Learn how to be an animal communicator. She's got an entire school for it, and she's changing the world. Hmm. But today she changed our world and allowed our pigs to become family. And for that, we are deeply grateful. Honey Bear looks like he's heading over to take a bath in the swimming pool. Let's follow him. Good girl, Menorah. Hi, Jay. Hi, guys. Hi, Lindsay. I've been watching your kittens. I miss you. I miss all of you so much. So um, apparently they've announced that we're doing social distancing and staying at home orders until August. So you guys, the Gentle Barn is not going to be opening our doors anytime soon. Um, but please, you know, I'm so glad that you get to join these live feeds. And for all of those that might not know, we have an online class to teach children about animals. And it meets the science standards and we're learning all about the different kinds of animals. This week we're learning all about pigs and next week we're learning all about sheep and goats. On Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are teaching elementary school. And on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're teaching sixth grade and up. And uh, adults are welcome to take it. So please check us out at gentlebarn.org for My Gentle Classroom. And the list of all our live feeds is on gentlebarn.org as well. So you guys can have as much bliss from this barnyard as possible. We're also doing virtual field trips, virtual birthday parties, virtual live hacks into Zoom conferences. We've got a lot of things virtually going on so that you can still visit our animals, have some bliss from our barnyard, and become part of our family. So have no fear. Even though we're not opening our doors until August now, uh, we are going to be bringing our animals to you virtually. Ah, this is a good, good day. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nicole, you're saying you wish Texas would be locked down? Did Texas open up? I just think that if we hurry and open up, we're just going to have another spike of the virus. So kind of staying closed and doing things virtually might make a lot of safer sense. How many of you on here, how many of you on here 
were here when we rescued Honey Bear three years ago. How many of you remember when he came in and we had a birthday party for him and Zeus? How many, do you, how many of you remember when Honey Bear came home? Sherry, um, Honey Bear's neutered, so he is not gonna wanna be with her in that way. He is gonna be a good companion and friend to her, but he will not um, have needs like that to be with her, which is uh, the perfect match for her because she's so defensive and sensitive about being you know, raped and, and mated again against her will, but that will not happen because he's neutered. Karen, you were here when Honey Bear came in. Oh my God, that's so great. Yay. Well, how many of you have been here when we, oh, and Cricket, yay, thank you. And Laura, oh, so many of you were here. Lisa was here. Chris was here. Oh my God, that's great. Or no, you're just saying virtual. Jane was here. Devro was here. Oh my God, Joan was here. Thank you so much, you guys. It's so fun to do these rescues with you. Um, and how many of you were here and following the gentle barn when we took Menorah and the babies in, in December? Let's go over there so we can see his face. Marjorie. Laura, he is a perfect gentleman. Even the very first time that him and Menorah met and she went after him, he didn't retaliate, he didn't fight back. He was just such a gentleman. And he's so sweet with the babies. Um, yes, we spay and neuter our animals, yes. Hey CJ, yay, CJ remembers. And Bobby remembers. And Brenda remembers. Hi Marnie, happy birthday. And Sabrina remembers. So then you know you guys, you know, um, Menorah came in with the babies and we had to keep them separated from Honey Bear. And the babies had to go through their nursing and weaning process. And they had to get spayed and neutered. And now all of that is done. And Honey Bear met the babies and has been getting along with them famously for the last like week or two. And today we introduced him to Menorah and she's submitting to him and she's being sweet and she's they're like coming nose to nose and sniffing each other and peeing and pooping all over the yard together and now they could be one big giant happy family so happy for them Wendy he loves laying in the mud it helps cool him down and it's fun he, he likes to dig in the soft wet mud and the bottom and he likes to blow bubbles <laughs> Mrs. Wilkes wants to know where we are located. Um, so we're located at the Gentle Barn, California location, which is in Santa Clarita, California, just 30 minutes north of Los Angeles. And uh, for those of you that might be new to us, the Gentle Barn is a national nonprofit organization located in Los Angeles, California, Nashville, Tennessee, and St. Louis, Missouri. We rescue animals that have nowhere else to go that no one else wants because they're too old, too sick, too lame, or too scared to be adoptable. Um, once they come in, we rehabilitate them with vet care and a whole slew of alternative methods. And we find a home and a family for the rest of their lives. Now, if it's an adoptive home and family, great. And if not, then they become part of our family for the rest of their lives. Let's go back so we can see his face. Happy ending at the Gentle Barn. Hi, Honey Bear. Hi. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Honey Bear. Well, uh, just for those of you just joining, Honey Bear is officially integrated with Menorah and the babies. They've been running around the yard together and they've been sweet and gentle and kind to each other. And now Honey Bear gets a family of his very own. And he gets to take care of the babies just in time for Father's Day coming up. That's going to be a nice Father's Day. Are you a stepdad now, honey bear? 
Me too, Stacy. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, healthy, safe, and happy day wherever your spot is in the world. Thank you so, so much for being part of our happy endings. We love sharing these stories with you and please follow us virtually. We have lots of live feeds coming up. We have our My Gentle Classroom, which is teaching children about animals, meeting science standards. We have virtual field trips, vir virtual tours, virtual birthday parties, and virtual Zoom hacks. So please visit gentlebarn.org, see what we've got going on so we can bring our bliss to you. And uh, just because we're separated at this time, remember we are all connected and we are carrying you in our hearts and our thoughts. Happy Tuesday, Tuckin. Good night, my darlings.